Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated Update Aquatic server. With me, your host, Update Aquatic Man, as the miniature algae cubes funnel into the system below. Oh, look at that. You can see a lot of them flying around back there. Wow, that thing is in full production. Last time we worked on this Update Aquatic kelp fountain reflecting pool and it is coming along wonderfully man those guys are just cruising along there i'm getting distracted by my dynamic elements which was the whole point of having dynamic elements so that you'd always have something going on right so these guys are all going around and then they fall down below and then they go to the algae uh, dehydration cube <laughs> all right so last time we worked on this and let me go ahead and show you what we've got so far so this would be the default state right that one block of water there is kind of representing all the water that's going to be around so the pool would be uh ongoing it would be a nice reflecting pool and then an event will happen a triggering event will happen either down below or off to the side i've ever i think i'm going to have it down below for sure i need to figure out some things with how daylight sensors work if i can pass them through blocks or water or transparent non-opaque blocks uh you know like half slabs or their stairs or light sources you know i need to figure that out so but when i get that figured out that will be the goal for today this thing would be complete i'm even planning on uh, putting in the walls for down below and getting the fountain in place so everything should be done today let's go over what we did last time we got this guy working like this so when the triggering event happens right these pistons will go up and the water will be shut down so it'll stop flowing down 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 the thing now these guys these pressure plates that you see there will up and then the walls come down after a bit of a delay plenty of time these pressure plates will line the entire pool so no water will flow out beyond the walls but they're especially important there and then the flying machine will come across and it'll harvest all of the kelp that's going to be here leaving just the bottom layer kelp here these guys down below will be there and then they'll start growing back up again awesome let me see if i can jump onto this bad boy Whoop. nope well let me try again don't give up never give up never surrender okay here we go up all right up oh, oh well it wasn't pushing me along okay so i <laughs> after it lands after it lands gets into the dock over there watch the redstone dust lights up boom 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 closes back up bang 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 so that is all working properly now all i've got to do is set up the last little bit of wiring that allow me the opportunity to let me go grab that water to once that goes up open these doors up so the water continues to flow all right so let me go down below and get some of that worked on and show you what i'm talking about and here we are down below with the uh, necessary changes that i've made now whenever the final when the flying machine goes across and this signal comes in and goes into here to make these rotate back up into the upward position this line will also pull off from here put it into a 10 tick delay which feeds into a longer tick delay and this is the only way i seem to be able to do this i see other minecrafters that'll you know send it right into this delay but maybe i'm doing something wrong so what i like to do is set it up into a delay into the delay to make sure this delay is here anyways this delay will go here as long as it goes here giving the pistons enough tire time to fire upwards and you know uh get the walls enclosed and then this thing will turn off because that that power will be on so this will be off right and that piston will be down but after that delay is done then this torch will go back on the power will come through it'll monostable through this power line will come in come all the way around over here and it's a little combobulated in here because i was just kind of throwing it together it'll come all the way over here and power this piston pushing this piston head out albeit briefly just boom and that'll push this block over onto that block that the reason these need a space filler is because uh, that would power the piston and the reason it's not a sticky piston is because I just want to push it. All right, so push it real good. So I push it over here. The redstone block gets on top of this hopper, which locks the hopper, right? Okay, so why do I do that? Well, while the hopper is locked, we're going to have a cactus growing in here. And every time the crack cactus grows up one spot to here, it's going to break off. But this thing will give it a pulse because it'll see it for a split second. It'll update. Boom. So that'll send a pulse into this dropper. And this dropper will feed one into that hopper. All right, so now the hopper is going to be a measured outsource so that I don't know if this is going to be permanent right here, but at some point it will have enough things in it that the redstone circuit will get all the way over here and 
power this block depowering this piston. All right, so that will mean that enough intervals have happened that it's ready to do it. But as you can tell, it's also an AND gate. So this torch has to be off, and this torch needs to be off. So this is going to be, uh, say, say some indicator like that, right? So if it was nighttime, it would be off. Oh, man, I might be able to replicate this somehow. But I'll f I still need to figure out if I can get through these guys, through the light sources or through glass, which is what I kind of want to cover it up with. Anyways, so this AND gate, so it'll be all of the, the cactus has been produced enough time, enough cycle, that I would consider that enough cycles for the kelp to have grown. And then I want this to happen only in the middle of the day so that no mobs are up there that could come down here and do some stuff. I know that's a little silly, but I just kind of want that to happen. I could do just this, right? But I want to do this also. Okay, so this is happening also. So let's, this AND gate turns off. That's off. So they're both off, depowering that block, allowing that redstone torch to power, which will come up here and go around and power this block, which will push that piston over there. Thus freeing the hopper, allowing the hopper to pour everything back in, and while it's pouring everything back in, this line, because the redstone will be pushed over, oh boy, is this getting sloppy? Is this too tight? We'll run through here into what I presume will be this torch, turning this torch off, this torch comes up here, now this torch is off, this is the off state, and when this guy is off, right, the thing is on. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a, it's a nor comparison. All right. So when that thing is off, as it is now, the gate will be up. So I need to have that go back up when it's off. Did I do that right? Or do I need to leave it on? Or do I need to run it through a monostable? No, it needs to be a full pulse. pulse. This needs to be a full signal that's coming out of this guy. And it needs to be off when that thing's on. Okay. So when the block is pushed over, which makes sense because, do I need to put this on that one? So when the block's over there, right now they're up. Putting a dust there would make them go down. Hold on, let me get rid of this guy. All right, that'll power it if I do that, which will bring them down. All right, so this needs to be off at the very end. No, so that, yeah, so at the very end, when it's all said and done, that guy will push back over. This will turn on, which will run into another redstone a ladder tower that uh, will make the pistons come down. The water will come back on. So just the test. This should bring them all down. Well, everyone on this side. Let me go peek at that real fast. Oh, my gosh. It's getting tight in here. It's getting tight in here. Let me go peek at that real fast. So everything on that side should be down, and they are, okay. Coming back. And then, when this gets powered, when this gets powered, this guy gets powered, it'll push it back over. Right, awesome, so that's exactly right. So once this gets as full as it needs to be full, Right now, those are down. This AND gate fires off. We will uh, So everything will be in there, and the signal length will be appropriate, lighting signal length appropriate. Let's uh, replicate that by pulling this off. That'll put that torch, blah, 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 push it over, and then the pistons above us should go up. Sounds like they did. This guy got pushed over. This guy's over here. I'll take my little roundabout way in here. Uh-oh. I saw something over here. I saw a monostable circuit over here go off. Why? Oh, because I sent that through. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, man. Let's... Oh, boy. The flying machine is flying across, so I want to go see if I broke anything right here. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. It's still flying. The water is up. Excellent. Now it should get there. And did I finish the wiring over there? Will it send through and... If I finish the wiring, and it's quite possible that I didn't, in a couple moments after these go up, these guys will come down. But I don't think that I did. Doesn't look like I did. 
Oh man, this is coming together. It is so close. It is so close. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I was so frustrated the other day, and I'm I'm kind of over the fact that the the what did I need to do here? Or did it? It came. Did it come through here? Put a delay on this bad boy. Get this guy and pulse this. And this, this, this. It did not. It did not. So why did this not happen? No, it's just not capable of pushing it for some reason. Why? Because that one is still powered. Oh, which should have been undone. Dork. Dork! Sometimes I do some silly things, my friends. Okay, so we'll just get this going. It's back over where it needs to be. Okay, so this part here, I neglected to make this gate work the way it should have. Oh, hey, look at this. Why is that working right now? It's the middle of the day. Does it work underground without any indication? Oh, boy. This, okay. This is coming together. Let me go up to, real fast. We'll go up there and make sure everything's where it needs to be. And if everything's where it needs to be, I will consider what the fine-tuning needs to be here in order for this guy to not be dangerous, right? Ah, because I want this to happen only after that happens a second time. So this is the one questionable piece of circuitry that isn't completely controlled. When it docks and lands and then refires this for the second time, that's when, after a delay, these guys have to be on. Hmm. So maybe... Maybe there's a way to run a line off of this so that when these are up... That could be it. All right. If I were to run a line off of this... Uh, repeater, repeater... All right, let's see here. Oh my goodness! I mean, the the the, I, the brain is flowing, my friends. The brain is flowing. Um, uh, pull that off and put it here, right? And this here, and then that way that won't happen. The way. All right, hold on, man. We are we are getting some stuff done. This is, whoops, there, and then there. Okay, so that's how I could do it. Um. When these things go back up, then I can fire this over here and drop it into this line over here. All right. That's what's happening, man. It is happening. This is coming together. All right. So hang in there, my friends. I have just about got it exactly where it needs to be. And then, oh, man, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, except for the fact that that was not a silk touch torch. <laughs> okay. 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 Here we go. Awesome. All right, and now I have done all the cosmetics for the redstone room. I don't know if I like the torches. It gives enough light out here for now, but uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll do something with sea lanterns along the side walls, maybe? I don't know, but as you can see, I've dug out everything out, so now I have the redstone line up here to the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The hopper, not the hoppers, but the... The sticky pistons, not that uh, retract and and uh, let the water come down and all that other good stuff. And then these guys over here, all the redstones in place. Uh, I went up, went ahead and moved this block over a little bit so it wouldn't interrupt with that redstone from the last segment. And now everything flows into there just fine. And I think I cleaned up. I don't know if I showed you this last time. I cleaned this up. How? Ooh, it's only got three more to go. Three, <laughs> three more to go, and it's going to be. Oh, I wanted to peek in there and I looked in the wrong one. Three more to go and it's going to be good to go. Actually, it's the middle of the day now. I don't know. I put half slabs on top of everything so nothing would spawn on it. Those blocks will just slide back and forth under it. You know, that will be pulled down. Any place where it's a sticky piston that's going to be a pulse extender here, a monostable circuit, those guys will get pushed up and just stay up once they're up there. You know, they'll be in a good spot. All right. Well, you know what? I think... I think I'm ready to do this. So yeah, everything here is glass now, so nothing should spawn down here. I gave it a little uh, quartz underneath, so it, it's got a little space. Uh, lighting texture issues from the other side of this wall, I'll deal with that later. Hmm, somehow. I'll probably just go back and block off the wall that's there. And Like I said, I'm going to come up with some lighting issues, other uh, some lighting solutions in other places. Over here is the... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I think I'm going to get rid of one of these and put it over here. Actually, I might just 
get rid of that block and put it up there. I don't know. We'll see what I do with that. But uh, over here is the iron farm location. So this guy is, you know, I can't remove those without changing the cosmetics above. But, oh, geez, I, was, I climbed up here so I could do this. There we go. So those guys are good to go. So now everything's encased in glass, just in case something above blows up, right? Okay, so let's see here. What time of day is it? It's not quite a full day. Not quite. Get out of here, you. I did it again. I keep trying to get this one. Three. All right. Oh, let me show you up here real fast uh, and um, let me slow this down. Actually, I'm going to do this whole thing. I'm going I'm to pull this out of here, cut it in half. Put it over here, okay, and this guy here. Um, I'm going to simulate it, so let's go ahead and do this. All right, and now it's good to go. So everything should be, there it goes. All right, and now a couple moments later, the flying machine should go across. Off it comes across as my breakdancing golem goes moonwalking into the sauna. Up here, as you can see, I have begun the section for where the fountain's going to be. As soon as I verify that this is going to work, then I'm gonna go up there and start letting that flow down here, and then I'm gonna put kelp in and let it start to grow. Come on, keep working, keep working. So far, so good. It's gonna go in there, it's gonna land, and that'll set off the line, that'll do this up see that's what that's why we check so what happened here monostable circuit goes this way goes this way I don't think this one always gets all the way there and I'm not sure why all right so let me try to replicate this one more time See if I punch this out and see it gets to there but doesn't get all the way to the other one. So is there a piece of redstone dust missing over here? Or is it, hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, it's coming up short. Uh, so I need one more repeater. Uh, but uh, before I do that, do I have some... <laughs> do I have anything on me that can power this bad boy? I don't want to pull that down. I don't want to do that. All right, let me go get a torch and do that. Uh. All righty. Boom, 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 boom. Up here we go. Repeator. So, just because, let's put this one. Well, this makes it all the way, and this one makes it all the way, but this one doesn't. So let's just uh, do that so the whole thing works. All right, one more time. We'll double check. This should send the pistons up and then do its thing. Boom, pulse, 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 pulse. Clocks, excellent. Double, that goes up. This happens. This powered ever so briefly, did it? No, it doesn't appear to have either, because that should have pushed over. So what happened here? Oh, oh, it was going through a delay. It was, or was it? Yeah, that had to power down and then, or did it? Oh man, okay. Hold on, let's go see if everything's in the correct position. I'll reset the sun and we'll do a one more dry run. Okay, here we go. One more dry run. Oh, everything fed back in to here, as it should. So this is now empty, as it should be. Okay, one more dry run. Bang, that one goes. All the things above me go. That got retracted. This should do its thing. Okay, those guys should be flying across. Soon. There it goes. All right, let's go over here and wait for it to land on the other side. Oh, I guess I guess I wasn't quite done with my uh, 
with my floor. It's a good thing I saw this, otherwise I would have been mind my own business and a creeper would have blown me up. Also, I need to get rid of these sea lanterns because those were temporary, even though I thought at one point they were going to be the block of choice for this floor level. All right, it lands. Boom, that goes into there. That goes over there. They go back up. This pulse didn't last very long. I'm getting, you know, I'm just getting the impression that it's something's not always going all the way right. All right, so these guys are back up. Oh, I need a repeater right here. One more time. Then after this timer stops. Boom. Then everything goes back up. All right. I think it's ready for a wet run. So let me go up here. Fly up to the top there and get all of that out of the way. Show you what that looks like. Oh man. Soon this is going to be amazing. Amazing. All right, put this and start digging. All right, so it is the next day, and hopefully it won't start raining at high noon again. Oh, there's another diver ghost jumping down. He's got to turn around and start breakdancing, folks. He can't do it and not. All right, this sun is almost in position here. I forgot where I was standing. I think somewhere over there, but maybe this is the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, come on. Any second now, any second now, the sun will reach its zenith. And because one, uh, the hopper dropper um, cactus farm timer already has 23 pieces of kelp, kelp in it that's good to go for the norgate all we need is for the sun to reach its zenith to trigger the other norgate as oh and there it goes there it goes the blocks are down or up so the water stops flowing the water has stopped flowing and after a brief delay no 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 don't tell me there wasn't enough time don't tell me there wasn't enough time i have just drowned all of my redstone, or have I? Or have I? I presumably have. Oh, no. Why? 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 These guys... Oh, no. No, the timing was off. No. Oh, my gosh. Things are... Well, was there any redstone back here on the ground? It might still work, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. It might still work. It might still work. Okay. That happened. That happened. Blocks are going back up. This block never... S okay, so there was one bit of redstone, apparently, that didn't work over here. No, everything's up. What happened? Okay. All the redstone's still in place. All the redstone's still in place. Maybe those those delayed clocks just aren't long enough. Maybe. Maybe. Why do I look like an iron golem? Check out my other episode. As for now, check out the playlist on the bottom left because I am going to go troubleshoot this thing one more time. All right, my friends. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again real soon. What is wrong with this thing?